Hey everyone, today I have a watch me work for you and we are going to do these really beautiful bird of paradise nails that I hand painted using gel polishes and gel paints and I'm also going to take you along in the process of doing her fill as well. So let's get started. So this is what we started with. She did a really cute ladybug set. She requested ladybugs. This is what I came up with for her last set. And this is about three to four weeks grown out. And there she is. Everybody say hi, mom, since um, I always use my mom on my channel and I don't think I've ever sh actually shown her face. So there you go. So as usual, I'm using all Erica's ATA bits and implements for this set. And you can save 10% off with my code AMB10. And I will have everything linked down in the description box. So for the removal, I'm using the carbide flame and this bit works very well. I love the shape of it. I like the more pointed shape because it's a little bit easier for me to kind of get into the side walls and I can kind of see where the bit is. I can kind of see over it a little bit easier. And so I really, really am enjoying using this bit and I'm using it at max speed, about 30,000 RPMs. With these specialty carbide bits, you wanna make sure you are using them at a higher speed so that they don't catch and then they just kind of glide and remove the product very smoothly. Now for the prep, I'm using the large flame. This is in fine grit. This bit comes in fine. And I've also been really enjoying using this bit. This is kind of a fairly newer bit for me to be using and I'm liking it a lot. The shape of it is a little bit bigger, but it kind of opens up that cuticle area a little bit more to help you get a closer gel application. And I am liking the fine grit for clients that might be a little bit more sensitive or have thinner nails because it's just a little bit softer. So that is nice as well. And so I also use my little brush to kind of make sure and dust as I'm going. So I can see exactly where I'm working without a bunch of dust in the way. And you can see this bit like removes that dead skin so nicely. I am absolutely loving it. Now I'm just using my nippers just to nip off any little bits that are left hanging up off of the nail. Uh, that dry skin that's like white, that's what I am removing. And as always, if you don't feel comfortable with this, you can totally skip this part and move on. So next, it's time for application. So I've cleansed the nails and now I'm applying my primer. And then I'm gonna go in with my hard gel. And this is the Luminary Commit Primer. It's a great all around sticky primer that works pretty well with every gel that I've used with. <laughs> and for the gel, I'm using my Accents Hard Gel in the shade SW1. This is the Trinity gel, so it doesn't need any bonder. You can just apply it straight to the nail and it has great adhesion and it's really strong. So I'm just applying this, an overlay over all of her nails, and then I'm going to file and shape them. So now once we've got our nails all prepped and shaped, it's time to pick the color. So I'm starting to use these Jelly Fit gel polishes. They are very high quality and very pigmented, as well as the F gel colors, which I've mentioned are from zillaview.com. Again, I'll have everything linked down in the description box. And these colors are so pigmented, I can't wait to show you how they go on. Like. One coat is just 
almost perfect coverage. It's so nice. And so I wanted to do this bird of paradise design. So I pulled up a picture of a bird of paradise on my phone that I could use for some reference. And I wanted to kind of bring out the colors from the bird of paradise. So we went with an orange and a green shade. And I don't do green very often, so it was kind of fun to do something different. Now for the one nail, the ring finger that I am going to be doing the art on, I am painting just a sheer kind of color on there just to give it a nice smooth surface for my art to be applied. So this is the F gel color in the orange. Like look how nice that went on. And then this is the jelly fit, the green. I've been also like loving greens lately, so I'm obsessed. And look how amazing that goes on just with one coat. The pigment is so, so good. I know that these gel polishes are a little bit more spendy, but seriously, it's worth it. Like you don't have to do a million coats to get good coverage with these. And I do have coupon codes both for the Jelly Fit colors as well as the F gel colors from Zillabu. You can use my code KD10 to save 10% and I'll have all the colors down in the description box. So now for the art, I'm getting all the colors that I want to use on a palette and both of these gel polishes work very well for art because they are pigmented. A lot of gel polishes I would not recommend doing for art, but these ones work very well. So again, another reason why they are worth a little bit more money because you can get a little bit more use out of them. And I'm also gonna use this gel nail art palette. This is from Hey Nails and it comes with 40 different colors that are gel and they're conveniently in this nice little palette that you can use for art. So I'm gonna grab a couple little colors from there as well. So I'm using my detailer brush and I'm just starting by painting the leaves and then I'm gonna to work towards the flower. And a cool little kind of trick that I had recently learned that I wanted to use for this, instead of going back and forth between the hands, just doing little by little on each hand, I'm using this little curing flashlight to cure each color just for like around five seconds before I move on to the next color and it's perfect. It cures it enough that I can just go straight into the next color and I can stay on this same nail until the design is done and I don't have to like wait for each section to cure. So I feel like it helped move things along a little bit faster and it was just easier for me as an artist to paint something in one go than going back and forth between each hand. It made it a lot easier to do this design. And so once it was completely done, then I put her hand in the lamp to do a full cure, just make sure everything was completely nice and cured. Then I am just going to top coat all of the nails. We did a shiny top coat, cure that. And then I am going to apply some cuticle oil and some lotion. I've been trying out this new cuticle oil called Cutie Oils. And this is the vanilla scented one. Oh my gosh, it smells so luxurious and the packaging is stunning. The like cuticle oils that I retail for my clients are gorgeous and it comes in two different scents as well as unscented, which I love. So this is the end result. I love these for summer. Oh my goodness. Like I just want to go on a tropical vacation. I've said it before in my videos, summer's my favorite season. So these bright, fun kind of tropical nails, I absolutely love. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. Follow me on my social media and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.